video review and this time we're going to be taking a look at an early release of the Transformers Reveal the Shield Solar Storm Grapple. Now he's called Solar Storm probably in the same reasoning why Jazz is called Autobot Jazz. Jazz and in this case Grapple are too generic of terms to probably have copyrighted. So they add something like Solar Storm to it. And one of Grapple's most memorable episodes was when he created that solar thing along with the Constructicons which really kind of ticked off Optimus Prime. But a really fun character. Very ingenious, quite intelligent of a character, and really nice looking toy. Now, on the camera, he is coming across very yellowish, which is a good thing, I suppose, but in hand, he does have a little bit more of an orangey tinge to him. The uh, actual siren lights here are, uh, I don't know how well that's gonna come across, but they're very amber in color, which look really nice. I really love this figure. I've always really liked this mold. And we originally saw the mold in the classic 2.0 release of Inferno. Now there are obviously some noticeable differences that you're going to have right away in the vehicle mode. He's got his water cannon while Grapple has his extendable crane. Really nice and it extends, it extends pretty good. Has a little swivel right here on the actual hook itself. And it rotates here on the back as well. Actually at two different spots. You got the black piece which rotates but then also if you kind of hold the black bit it can also rotate, uh, well it could, here, there we go. It can also rotate independently from the black bit itself. But that's actually pretty nice. Fairly long too. A very nice repaint and even remold of the Inferno figure himself. In vehicle mode, you can't really see many of the different molded bits. So why don't we just go ahead and transform them? Oh, one other thing that I did want to mention, his feet, and actually, I don't know if you can see this very well, uh, you have different colored yellow on the feet. It looks as if that the whole foot part is actually painted black, and then this is just painted yellow, as opposed to being molded. That, that's a minor gripe, but uh, hopefully that doesn't. Scraping this up here, all for you guys. All for you guys to see if that comes off. It doesn't seem to come off. And it feels pretty sturdy on there, so it's fairly nice. But uh, I, just, I, I guess I would just have preferred it to actually still be molded in the same yellow. But it's his foot, so who cares? So to go ahead and transform him, what I'll typically do first is kind of open these up. On both sides, just like that. Kind of get this lifted up and out of the way. You want to split uh, these bits up here. You need to loosen this. This part here likes getting hooked on here a little bit, so there you go, loosen that. F flip these underneath on both sides. And then here you can loosen this bit up here, and you'll be able to rotate the arms outward like so on both sides. Come around here to the bottom, take these bits here, fold those in, just like that. Kind of lift up this black bit, and then you need to accordion all of this up underneath his chest cavity. Split the legs, rotate, fold down the little feet, rotate, fold down the little feet, there we have that, fold down the arms, rotate this, this little bit here folds up, fold that down. Now I do have a big problem with this gigantic crane, kind of fold these on the side and you can really position these uh, arm bits here any way you want. Um, you can put them in the back. I usually, on these ones, on this guy, I'll keep them on the back. On my Inferno, I actually keep them off to the side. But it's whatever, it's personal preference. So there you have that. Come around here, lower this. There you see his head in there, and just in, like the original, on the Inferno figure, when you take this little bit here, push it forward, out comes his head. Come around here to the back, lift this, pull that down. That closes that back piece off. Keep that folded down. And here you have Grapple in his robot mode. And I really like this figure. It's probably because of the mold, but in general, it's a really nice figure. Now, the biggest problem I, I do have is this huge, gigantic crane. It's really tough to do anything with it. You kind of need to leave it in a position that's gonna, and, and the hook's upside down. Well, that's kind of silly. I wonder if I can, how do you, <laughs> I wonder how I, I don't even know how I can actually do anything with that to make it go the other way. That seems weird. You don't, oh, and you can pull his arm off. 
that 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 just seems weird. So you got to go like this to have the hook be the right way. Uh, I don't know about all that. That's kind of strange, but it's really big and really kind of bulky kind of cumbersome but in general the changes on this guy are really nice and really make for a completely different character so while we have grapple here let's get inferno out there and do a good side-by-side -side comparison and here you have inferno now the immediate differences that you're going to notice aside from the color is the heads both of these guys have different heads and i'm going to try and show those off as best as possible and i'll just zoom in like this so you can see a different molded head entirely on the grapple figure. In addition to that, obviously the different arm attachment. His forearms are remolded. As you can see, he's got more of a rounded look to him, whereas Infer Inferno's is more of a square. That being said also, they both have different hands. Grapple has a much more open kind of hand, as you can see, as opposed to the close fist on Inferno. Going down the line, they also have different feet, which is a very nice touch. Um, Infernos are actually a little bit longer of feet. I actually really like that. One thing that people have complained about, and I do agree with it, and I don't know why they couldn't have included it, to be totally honest, is uh, the forearm bits here. These actually rotate on Inferno. So this is how they are now, and it covers up a lot of the hand. You can't see the hand from this hand, as you can see. Inferno's actually rotates, and you're now allowed to see the hand. Grapples doesn't do that. They can't rotate, and that's rather unfortunate. And I don't entirely know why they didn't do that. It doesn't really change too much, at least I don't think. But in general, this is a fantastic rework of the Inferno mold. I'm really impressed with how they were able to not just take it and repaint it, but to give the character a different look and a different feel and make the character completely different. And I really actually enjoy that. The Transformer back, he's very simple. I rotate. Now, some people can, will rotate it at the upper thigh. I don't. I just rotate it at the knee. It doesn't change anything, really. Uh, at least not that I know of. And you peg these together just like that. Come around to the feet fold down the feet like so, so it covers that back section up. Come around here, take this bit out, slide that down, take his head. Now you can also rotate his head, but I don't like rotating it and then having his actual head show through the window. So I keep it facing, and he's got really nice light piping too. You can see that really well. Fold that all the way back, so now you can't see his head. So yeah, that's just a little minor nitpick. Fold the arms. Fold this section out. You want to take this little section out here and then just kind of loosen that and you just slot everything in there. This arm, even on the other one, pops off rather frequently. Rotate it so that these bits are on the outside and extend that bit out. Do the same on this arm. Fold it, fold it, fold it. Rotate it. Kind of keep the uh, crane out of the way. Oh, I forgot. You need to take this little bit out here. Fold that down. And you can slot that together. And then that will peg together at the top. Just kind of open that up. Flop this little back bit up like so. Position the legs. And then just swivel the legs back out like that. Line everything up. This little peg right here. And then this kind of slots in there. Do the same on this side. Peg that in. I didn't extend this, so extend this. And that slots in. Fold this bit in. Push that in. Fold that. Push that in. Fold that forward. That'll click into place and rotate the wheels. And uh, again, you can position this however you really want. It does have a lot of rotation in it, so uh, you can have it off to the side, off to that side, whatever. I keep it down the center and uh, just make sure everything is nice and lined up. And there you have Grapple, Solar Storm Grapple, back in his vehicle mode. Very fun figure. This is a perfect addition to any classic collection. I absolutely love this figure. One thing of note on here, uh, mine, and I, I'm not showing it because I, I don't have it on here. I did get mine as an early release. Um, obviously, I don't have the packaging, otherwise I would have show you the packaging, but there's no uh, rub sign on him. Uh, he's supposed to come with one. So hopefully yours will. But this one, this one is the super, super secret one. Nobody knows. Because there's there's actually no Autobot symbol on him anywhere. So nobody really knows what he is. It's a super reveal the shield with no shield. <laughs> so you can't reveal anything. 
<laughs> but there you guys have the Solar Storm Grapple. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Until next time, this has been Optobotomus. I'll talk to you later.